Position and Warning System. 1. The purpose of anti-skid generators is to measure wheel rotational speed and any speed changes. 2. Refer to figure 19. What is the indication of the red landing gear position light under the following conditions? Aircraft on jacks. Landing gear in transit. Warning horn sounding. Extinguished. 3. Micro switches are used primarily as limit switches to control electrical units automatically. 4. The basic difference between an Autosyn and a Magnuson indicating system is the rotor. 5. What landing gear warning device S is are incorporated on retractable landing gear aircraft? A horn or other oral device and a red warning light. 6. One ADC-SELSYN system is a widely used electrical method of indicating a remote mechanical movement or position. Two, a synchrotype indicating system is an electrical system used for transmitting information from one point to another. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are true. Seven, where is the landing gear safety switch usually located? On the main gear shock strut. 8. Refer to figure 19. Which repair should be made if the gear switch was placed in a position and the gear does not retract? Replace electrical wire number 12. 9. In most modern hydraulically actuated landing gear systems, the order of gear in ferrand door operation is controlled by sequence valves. 10. Landing gear warning systems usually provide which of the following indications? Red light for unsafe gear, green light for gear down, no light for gear up. 11. What safety device is actuated by the compression and extension of a landing gear strut? Ground safety switch. 12. The rotor in an Autosyn remote indicating system uses an electromagnet. 13. In an anti-skid system, wheel skid is detected by an electrical sensor. 14. Refer to figure 20. What will illuminate the amber indicator light? Closing the nose, left and right wheel gear full retract switches. 15. A typical takeoff warning indication system, in addition to throttle setting, Monitors the position of which of the following elevators, speed brake, flaps, and stabilizer trim. 16. Stall warning systems are generally designed to begin warning the pilot when the stall is imminent. 17. The angle of attack detector operates from differential pressure when the airstream is not parallel to the true angle of attack of the aircraft. 18. An anti-skid system is an electrohydraulic system. 19. Which repair would require a landing gear retraction test? Gear down lock micro switch. 20. In the air with the anti-skid armed, current cannot flow to the anti-skid control box because the landing gear squat switch is open. 21. Anti-skid braking systems are generally armed by a switch in the cockpit. 22. In a brake anti-skid system, when an approaching skid is sensed, an electrical signal is sent to the skid control valve which relieves the hydraulic pressure on the brake. 1. An anti-skid system is designed to apply enough force to operate just below the skid point. 2. A warning lamp lights in the cockpit when the anti-skid system is turned off or if there is a system failure. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 23. When a landing gear safety switch on a main gear strut closes at liftoff, which system is deactivated? Anti-skid system. 24. 1. When an airplane is slowed below approximately 20 miles per hour, 
the anti-skid system automatically deactivates to give the pilot full control of the brakes for maneuvering and parking. 2. An anti-skid system consists basically of three components, wheel speed sensors, control box, and control valves. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 25. The pneumatic read type stall warning system installed in some light aircraft is activated by negative air pressure. 26. The primary purpose of a takeoff warning system is to alert the crew that a monitored flight control is not properly set prior to takeoff. The system is activated by a thrust lever. 27. Which of the following are some uses for a DCSELSYN system? 1. Indicates position of retractable landing gear. 4. Indicates cowl flaps or oil cooler door position. 5. Indicates fuel quantity. 7. Indicates position of wing flaps. 1, 4, 5, 7. 28. 1. An airspeed indicator measures the differential between pitot and static air pressures surrounding the aircraft at any moment of flight. Only number 1 is true. 29. Refer to figure 20. What is the minimum circumstance that will cause the landing gear warning horn to indicate an unsafe condition? Any gear not down and locked, and one throttle retarded. 30. At what point in the landing operation does normal skid control perform its function? When wheel rotation deceleration indicates an impending skid.